Space research has always been one of the most promising and curiosity-filled areas in all the years when research has existed in the world. The idea to study galaxies, stars and planets and to deduce knowledge about them holds immense potential. According to documented history, Africa was pioneers of space research, as evidenced by the ancient Library of Alexandria in Egypt that housed the first space research center more than 2,000 years ago. While an African-born astronaut has yet to launch to space, programs across the continent are on the rise, especially in the fields of satellites and telescopes. Consulting group Space in Africa values space programs on the continent in excess of $7 billion, while countries including Egypt, Nigeria, South Africa, Angola, Kenya, Ethiopia and Rwanda have established or expanded their space agencies in the last 20 years. One such project set to place Africa on the map of space research is the Square Kilometer Array. With South Africa's scientific societies working hand-in-hand -hand with the country's government, this project will help survey our skies faster than ever. The Square Kilometer Array is an intergovernmental radio telescope project set to be built in the region of Australia and South Africa. The project was brought to life in the late 90s and was designed in the late 2010. When this project is completed, it will operate over a wide range of frequencies, and its range will cause it to be 50 times more sensitive than any other radio instrument. The project's operation will require high-performing major computing engines with greater capacity than the global internet traffic. It will exploit radio astronomy's ability to provide the highest resolution images in all astronomy. According to organizers of the project, when the project is completed as planned, it will survey the sky more than 10,000 times faster than before. This amplified telescope technology will help astronomers to survey the skies better and analyze its constituents. News has also been heard that upon completion, the entire region that these telescopes will occupy will be 11 million square feet which are enormous. With receiving stations extending out to 3,000 kilometers, radio astronomy will be exploited to the maximum to study the celestial bodies in the sky and beyond. A lot of you might be wondering why South Africa is involved in this program. Around 2010, many countries had shown their interest in obtaining the bid for this project. However, in November 2011, the Square Kilometer Array organization was formed as an intergovernmental organization, and the project moved from collaboration to an independent, non-profit company. The following year, the Square Kilometer Array Site Advisory Committee made a confidential report that the South African bid was more substantial. The selection of South Africa and Australia for the project's location was mainly due to the suitable view of the Milky Way galaxy, with radio interference being the least in that region. The project aims to become a catalyst for science, technology, engineering business opportunities, jobs and innovation, and has the potential to put Africa on the map of macro data transfer and analytics hub. Another primary reason South Africa was chosen for this project, apart from its geographical convenience, is its research capacity in astronomy that has become advanced in human resource and can promote world-class research and robust innovative ideas. The construction of the Square Kilometer Array is estimated around $2.2 billion, including $780 million for Phase 1 which represented 10% of the entire telescope array's planned capacity. Several delays have proven to be obstacles in the project, with rising costs of the intergovernmental project that has been in the works for 30 years now. Initial construction contracts began in 2018, with the fully completed array not expected earlier than 2030. Construction of the first phase will occur from 2023 to 2027, providing an operational array capable of carrying out the first round of scientific studies. Phase 2 is then expected to be complete around 2030, providing full sensitivity for at least 14 GHz frequencies. Finally, the construction of a third phase will also be taking place to extend the frequency range up to 30 GHz. However, the main focus is the first two phases that are expected to be completed around 2030, if all goes well.
The square kilometer array is designed keeping in mind the doubts that will require clarification from fields related to astrophysics, fundamental physics, cosmology, among others. It will be implemented in various fields as soon as the project is complete. By using pulsars as gravitational wave detectors, astronomers will examine the limits of general relativity, such as space-time behavior in regions of highly curved space. The square kilometer array's sensitivity in a 21 cm hydrogen line will map a billion galaxies out on the edge of the observable universe, hence giving researchers a wide scale of study and comparison. Imaging hydrogen throughout the universe will provide a three-dimensional picture of the first ripples of structures that help individual galaxies and structures. Hypothetic effects of dark energy shall also be studied. The Square Kilometer Array will also assist in investigating the form of cosmic magnetism and the role it has played in the ever-evolving universe. But the most tempting study of all will be the Square Kilometer Array's potential of detecting extremely weak radio emissions known as leakage from nearby extraterrestrial civilizations, if they exist. The workings taking place in the pipeline have everyone excited, given that the execution of the whole project takes place timely. Though this project has significant amounts of potential, it comes with its drawbacks. The amount of sensory data collected poses a colossal storage problem and will require immaculate real-time signal processing to reduce the entire raw data to relevant derived information. China has also pushed for a unified beamforming design that has led other major countries to drop out of the project. On a wholly different note, there has been much opposition to the project from farmers, businesses and individuals alike. The advocacy group called Save the Karoo stated that the quiet radio zone would create further unemployment in the South African region, where the unemployment rate is already above 32 percent. Farmers Haves also spoken out that the agriculture-based economy in the Karoo region would collapse if they were somehow forced to sell their land. The Square Kilometer Array project has faced many ups and downs in its 30-year run. Though the picture is becoming more apparent that the project will take place, there are fears for more delays. Whether or not the project is completed at its expected time remains to be seen, but the lengths at which the human race will go to explore the unknown is outstanding. And that is a victory within itself. It will be an even sweeter victory if this project comes to life, as there is so much in the sky just waiting to be explored. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from a definitive information about trends and mega constructions projects in Africa, subscribe to the new Africa channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.